Hi, this is Nell Tharp, and I am going to uh, demonstrate an instrument tie. For this purpose, I'm using a heav heavy cord so that it will be easier to see. I've wedged it into the knot tying board so that it will be still. This represents my short end, and this would be the end that my needle is on if I were doing this as my first um, knot at the beginning of my suture line. So for purposes of this uh, demonstration, the, we're going to call the short end being away from me and the long end being toward me. And the way to remember this is you always lay your needle holder on the long end, perpendicular to it. For the very first throw, you only do this once, you're going to wrap your suture around the needle holder twice. You're going to grab short end and you're going to pull the short end toward you and the long end away from you. You're then going to lay the needle holder on the suture again, wrap the suture around once, grab the short end and now take the short end away from you and the long end toward you. These two throws get repeated. That makes one knot so we're now going to do another throw laying the needle holder on top of the suture grasping the short end and pulling it toward me and then laying the needle holder again on top of the suture, wrapping it once, taking the short end and pulling it away from me. And you can see I'm taking care to pull the ends evenly so we get a nice square knot. So just to repeat, the needle driver is always laid on top of the suture. The suture is wrapped the end is grabbed, and then the long end goes the opposite direction than it was before, same with the short end. So now I have my long end away from me. I'm going to lay my needle holder on top, wrap it once, grab my short end, and I will now take my short end away. And so, so that one was a little challenging because the end is getting short, so we're gonna stop right there. Thank you so much.